Okay. I'm going to carry on with this uh, week one uniform and critical flow basic calculations Excel sheet. Um, now doing the iterations. I should be able to complete these first. Uh, these four. Right. So I'm going to look at uh, iterating the Manning's equation here to calculate the depth in uniform flow. Manning's equation is uniform flow. I'm going to iterate uh, iterate that to solve the depth uh, when this right hand side of the equation matches the uh, Q that we're given. But I'll do it by a function, so I'll do the uh, I'll try and get minimize the function, get the function to zero. So I'll do thirty or thirty minus this right hand side. Okay, so let's just put the formula in. Trapezoidal channel, so we've got the formula nice and handy here. Bit of repetition of what we've done previously. Remember, we've got to fix some constants in here, and B is going to be a constant. B fixed, so we put dollar, dollar, a dollar letter, dollar nine, uh, number for, for the row, plus the bed slope, sorry, the side slope constant times by our trial depth, our guess depth times by. Back, close bracket times by that close depth, that depth again. Let me just change the terminology in this. S naught. The wetted perimeter, P, is this second formula here, is equal to B constant plus 2 times our guess value of Y times the square root of 1 plus the side slope squared close bracket okay we need R which is equal to A divided by P we need Q which is just this Manning's equation and that's equal to I'm going to write it slightly differently this time just to show that you can. A times R raised to the two thirds times S naught, so the slope constant raised to the 0.5, and then this whole lot divided by N as a constant. 8.7 so our target is 30 so we know we're over well out there and that's equal to that function value or error as we've called it there is 30 minus uh, as a constant subtract from the trial q so 21 out let's just uh, oh we can copy all that to the bottom let's just put uh, one in here, check we've got the right numbers. Well, we haven't got the right numbers, so I've made a mistake. It looks like on P here, I need to have a constant in here. So definitely that S needs to be made as a constant. Let me drag that down to the bottom again, and we see we've got the right numbers here. Right numbers, everything else. So there's a check we need to do. But one's not the right. A good guess there. Oh, 20 is not a good guess. Let's do two. So we can see that as the arrow goes from positive to negative, the answer is between one and two. It's much nearer two, so let's do uh, 1.8. Okay, that's positive now, so we see that it's between 1.8 and 2, 1.9, say. It's negative, so it's between 1.8 and 1.9, 1.85. Ah, oh, that's pretty good now. So the error is only uh, 0 0.09, but uh, 0.097 meters cubed per second. Let's see if we can get it any closer. 1.86. Oh, that's bigger. So it's less than that. 
It's smaller, so 1.855. Uh, five, say, oh, that's not good. Uh, 1.85 is as accurate as I can get here. Let's see what we can do from the secret method. Well, as we've seen before, we can just copy over our formula here. Now let's put one in there. We can pull that down. We can uh, you need to put type, type in our secret formula, which is just here, and I'll type that in again. So it's the the last value of y minus the last function, the function from the last value of y times by how many bracket bracket the last value of y minus the second last value of y divided by the function the last value of y minus the function the second last value of y so 1.769 is our function is our, our, our sorry our value from the secret method Let's try pulling these down to the bottom, and we see that it uh, iterates quite well. There's a little bit of movement there, but 1.847. Let's type in 1.847 in the formula above here. 847. Okay. So it's, uh, this has not come to to zero to three decimal places because x is this number and the secret formula will actually be smaller it will actually be a few more decimal places so 1.847 you can see that I've put some uh, width calculation we don't need that in the Manning's calculations but we do uh, we do when we're doing the critical depth calculations so one thing I just wanted to add in here that sometimes we need to put in a uh, approximation for a wide for for uh, uh, to get our iteration started, and we can use the approximation for a wide channel. So this channel is not very wide; it's four meters. But if it's say a hundred meters, then it's this this approximation to give us the normal depth for a wide channel could be used. Okay, so not very useful in this particular calculation. Well, let's let's do a new calculation using this uh, this approximation. So let me put in that, uh, uh, say a hundred meter wide channel, and we'll see how the approximation for a wide channel is 0 0.35, and how the secret method gets 0.35 as the answer. So let's try uh, try it in our iteration. P point three five, okay, point oh three five. That's definitely not right. <laughs> not point three five, and that iterates. That's very quickly. So, rather than doing an iteration from not knowing anything, we can estimate if we've got a wide channel. Let's see if it's uh, fifty is a wide channel. So, wide channel approximation says it's point five three and the secret method iterates to 0.52 so again it's a good approximation at 50 meters let's put it back to where we started so that's not uh, okay let's do the iterations for a uh, for normal depth using the Chess equation pretty much the same so uh, I'm going to copy some things over from the seat before and here we are put them in here what is wrong is that calculation is not right so we need to put in the Chess equation in that, that cell which will be a times the Chessy C as a constant times by R raised to the 0.5 times by bed slope as a constant raised to 0.5. OK. 
Okay. Let's try uh, one in again here, and I'll pull this down to check I've got the calculation is correct. Yep, yeah, uh, okay, but let's see what we need. Two. Well, that's no good. And it's gone much more negative, so the solution seems to be less than one. So I'll put 0 0.5 in here. Uh, I'll drag these down, drag it all the way to the bottom. So it's still negative, so let's try a 0 0.4 in here. Okay, so we know that the solution has gone negative to positive, so the solution is going to be between 0.5 and 0.4, so 0.45. A lot better. It's still positive, so it's going to be nearer 5, so 0 0.46. Or 0.455. Okay, so we, need, we know it's between 0.45 and 0.45. Let's do that same calculation with the secant method. So I can just copy and paste from there. Let me just try that one in here. Okay, put it back at point one. I need my secant formula. Now I can do this, copy it from the sheet before, because it's the same shape table. I can uh, drag that down and I can drag the whole lot to the bottom. And we see that it iterates quite quickly to 0.452. And if I put 0.452 in there, oh, 0.452, we get a low number. But we, we see uh, that these actually, there's more decimal places involved. So that's what gives you the extra. Again, we could have uh, used the initial iteration value of uh, using the wide channel approximation had it been a wide channel. Let's put a wide channel in here, so let's say um, 100 meters wide. Manning's comes out, sorry, the secant method comes out as a, a depth of 0 0.032. Well, oh, this formula doesn't get anywhere near that. So this example, it's not really worked for. No, that's because I've got the wrong formula here, and this formula should be for the Chessy equation. So how the formula works is that y, that, that r is equal to y for a um, wide channel. So we need to reformulate that. So ignore that, that formula. I'm going to just cover it up and get it, and you can correct it later. Let's iterate for critical depth for a trapezoidal channel. So critical depth is the depth when the Froude number is equal to 1. OK? We can. Look at an example here. The Froude number, Mr. Box, is, is this formula with velocity over root g dm, and dm is the hydraulic mean depth, and that is equal to the area divided by the, the, the surface width. Of, so let's just get on and do those calculations. So trapezoidal channel formulas over here. A is equal to B constant plus side slope as a constant times y times y. Let's just get my terminology for side slope back there. B, top width, B plus 2SY is equal to lowercase b, the bed width as a constant plus 2 times side slope is a constant times I guess y Froud number well let's use this this end formula here is equal to q as a constant d 
divided by a divided by the square root of and we need g in this formula and it's a constant times the area divided by the top width none of the neither of those two are constants and that gives us a fraud number of 1.7 we can uh, just do the fraud number squared is equal to the fraud number times the fraud number get 3.07 or we can use that formula, q squared b of a cubed. Um, and that's equal to q, that's constant squared times by b, not a constant, divided by a cubed, which is not a constant, divided by g, which is a constant. And it comes out the same number, great. The error, remember the error is going to be equal to 1 minus the Fraud number. I'm going to use Fraud number, but you could use Fraud number squared. It would be different at this point, but at the end of the solution it would be the same as Fraud number squared or Fraud number. Let me drag those down 1 and test it by putting 1 in this formula. We see the numbers are exactly the same, so let's put 2 in here. So between 1 and 2, the, the error goes between minus, between negative and positive. So we know the solution is between 1 and 2. So let's do, let's drag these to the bottom of the table. And we'll put in 1.5. So we've got an error of 1.3. Once it's positive, it's just between 1 and 1.5, so 1.25. Well, it's now between 1.5 and 1.25, 1.3. Well, it's still a bit less, a bit more than that. 1.35. Oh, dear, we all start. Okay, well, that's pretty good. So we've got an answer of 1.35. Let's do the same for uh, the secant method. I've got the secant method. Uh, which I can copy over from the cell the previous iteration so I can do that C copy it over just check it's using the front the cell so it's not using the cells in the right place but we can do a little bit of trick and move them to the ones we want it to use okay so that's it. if you're copying something over do check very carefully that you're copying it over correctly I'm going to check a bit closer. So B28 H28 B28 minus B27 X28 minus X. So it's OK. Right. Let's just drag that down one. Drag this down to the end. And we see it's iterated to 1.35 really quickly. Okay, so there's iteration for um, critical depth in a trapezoidal channel.